Good morning. It is 5.22 in the morning and I don't need to alarm you, but I think we're going to the Taj Mahal this morning. That is absolutely wild to me because it's something that you see in pictures and something that you read about and hear about, but not something that you actually do yourself. So this is probably the most exciting day for me and the one I've been most looking forward to about coming to India. Same. Really, really can't wait. Like, I think everybody who's ever gone and seen it basically says photos and videos don't even do it justice. You just have to go. So the fact that we are finally doing it is so awesome. I feel like this is what the trip has been leading up to, even though I know India has so much to offer. So it seems a little bit surreal that today is the day. Let's crack on, shall we? Great boy here. Oh my god. And also coming at like the very first point that you can means that it's so quiet. It's perfect. Yeah, like we didn't have to stand in line to show our tickets or go through security, so. Yep. And we've come through the East Gate. Yep. It's made it the most seamless experience so far. I can't believe we're going to see it in a matter of seconds. Oh, <laughs> The Taj Mahal is a mausoleum that Shah Jahan commissioned for his favorite wife, Mumtaz Mahal, who unfortunately died giving birth to their 14th child. He commissioned it in 1631, and the main mausoleum was completed in 1643, but the entire Taj Mahal complex wasn't finished until 1653. If the name Shah Jahan seems familiar, then that's because we've mentioned him in several of our previous videos. The reason for this is because he also commissioned the Jama Masjid, as well as the Red Fort that we saw in Delhi. Such was his love for Mumtaz Mahal that he chose to be buried here alongside her. The entire complex consists not only of the mausoleum itself, which is constructed of white marble, but also of mosques, as well as the tombs of his other wives. Apparently, his other wives were just okay. It even contains a tomb for Mumtaz Mahal's favorite servant. I think that's pretty unheard of. I don't even know what to say, which I guess is good that it's just breathtaking and awe-inspiring. There's not too many moments where we've been genuinely rendered speechless, but I think this has been one of them. It's just so cool to be here. I was saying to Nick earlier that I wonder what Shah Jahan would think about so many people coming to visit the tomb of his wife, like, 500 years later. But I think that was the entire point, right? Like, the whole idea was to build one gigantic monument in her memory and so it's proven. He'd be so happy that people are remembering his favorite wife. Exactly. This place is all about his love for her. Yeah, I think the greatest thing is it's not just this building in particular which is obviously in itself just incredible but the grounds here are so nice. All the fountains are stunning. Like literally, again, every building here is gorgeous in its own right. Yeah, I just find the main mausoleum though, it's so different from everything else we've seen where it's been primarily red sandstone, whereas this is just pure white marble with, of course, decorative accents. Mm -hmm. But it's just elegant and simple. But yet massive at the same time. <laughs> and stunning. Yeah. 
It's stunning in its simplicity and it's elegant in its simplicity. Honestly, I don't think I can think of any better place to have taken a sunrise. Can no, you? no. I mean, just this has been a dream. Yep, and it's even more of a dream because it's with you. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Right, should we plug this popsicle stand? Yes, 7.15 and we're done. <laughs> yep, I think it's time to go grab some breakfast and some water and all of that kind of jazz. I'm sure you've noticed that we haven't been showing you too much food recently. Normally we would just take you with us to the restaurant and show you all of the incredible Indian food we've been experiencing, but we've both been a little under the weather so we've just been eating such bland westernized food yeah that we were just kind of a little bit ashamed and didn't think you'd find it interesting but we're slowly starting to dip our toe back into indian food so for lunch i obviously had butter naan still very plain but more indian than butter toast and meanwhile i had a vegetable biryani with a mild amount of spice which actually turned out to be about right certainly having gone through a similar thing in egypt myself then kind of the whole concept of having to go through that again just really freaks me out quite a lot because yeah trust me going through a country where you want to eat all the food but knowing that there's every risk it could give you a pretty horrendous stomach problem is not fun and we're not talking food poisoning so it's not to that extent no, no. but definitely you know it does mangle your insides a little bit it's not the best feeling and obviously especially when you are putting the emphasis on sightseeing mm -hmm. while you're here, then really you want to be able to go through each of the bits that you're visiting with at least a certain degree of comfort. Yeah. You don't want to be constantly having one eye on the toilet or anything like that when you're trying to appreciate something as magnificent as some of the forts or the tombs or whatever that we've been experiencing while we've been here. Obviously, it's not as exciting for you the viewer and we are very very sorry about that but certainly by doing that then it means that we can be at our best to then show you the other parts of what you should be coming to India for. But we are hoping that within the next few days we're able to eat some more interesting food and we'll be able to take you along with us for that. Exactly. Actually this is going to be our last day in Agra. Mm -hmm. We're going to be moving on to Jaipur on an early morning train tomorrow. Yeah, 6 a.m. So yeah, going to be heading a little bit more into Rajasthan and we've heard amazing things. So we're super excited for that. And then yeah, hopefully with that, then we'll get to show you some more sites and also go for that adventurous food that we've been threatening. And so yeah, can't wait. So we'll chat to you in the morning. Good morning. It is 5.15 and we have just got on the train that's taking us from Agra to Jaipur. We're pretty early just because, you know, that's our style. So we should be setting off in about 45 minutes. Thank God the train's already here so that we can really start taking advantage of the AC. It is quite warm out there.
have made it to our hotel in Jaipur. It's called Friend India, and the people who own this place are so nice. They speak English really well, and they're just so friendly and willing to help you, and they really made us feel welcome immediately. Yeah, and I think the journey of things considered was pretty decent, so Admittedly, it was a very early train, but once we got to Aquaport Station, then it was very clear which platform we needed. The train took about four hours, well, plus extras, but actually the shift from the station to here was super simple, because Jaipur now has a metro line, mm -hmm. and essentially the hotels are all about a three-minute walk away from one of the metro stations now. So it's great. The only issue was that when we arrived at the railway station, all the tuk-tuk drivers tried to tell us that the metro is closed, the metro doesn't run close to this hotel. It doesn't take you to where you need to go, it's not as cheap as going for a tuk-tuk or anything like that. Which thank goodness we listened to Google because the metro station is a three to five minute walk from the railway station and the metro was 24 rupees for both of us so that is under 50 cents for us to get here so moral of the story is don't listen to the toto drivers if you want to take the metro if it's near enough to your hotel just go ahead take it it's really simple it's air conditioned yes and it will definitely do the trick but because we had a 4 30 a.m wake up call today I think we're going to just veg for the rest of the day and take it easy before we start our full day of sightseeing tomorrow. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling.